Hey there folks, it's Antire, and I am bringing you yet another day of Challenge Cup Battles. My opponent today is Sucker for Jessica. Uh, I'm sure you've all heard of him. I'll go ahead and lead off with Kangaskhan as he leads off with Swallot. I, he's going to go ahead and withdraw Swallot here and go out into Firo. As I go for the facade, a uh, great move, it's stab and everything. I go for another facade, I outspeed his Firo, which is great. His Firo goes for the facade, but uh, that's fine with me. He switches out here into Jirachi. Uh, always nice to have a steel type when you're doing Challenge Cup, and so now I'm going to have to call back Kangaskhan because I've got no moves that can deal a good amount of damage against this Jirachi. I go out into Shellos, thinking that there's actually quite a few things I can do, um, namely a super effective uh Mud Slap, as you're about to see. He goes for the Calm Mind, so he's got a Calm Mind Jirachi. That is not good, but his accuracy is going to drop. His Icy Wind's going to miss, because Icy Wind doesn't have 100% accuracy anyway. And I'm going to keep going for those Mud Slaps, and basically I'm just hoping that it's going to force him to switch. So here he's missed two Icy Winds. His accuracy is now down to minus three. I really should look up. I really need to find an accuracy table. If anyone knows an accuracy table that actually lists the accuracy stages, please let me know, because I actually don't know what they are. Um, anyway, Kangaskhan is back out. He's sends out Jirachi. I predict that. Go for the low kick. Really doesn't do Meryl very much because Jirachi is so light. I go out into Meryl and I'm like, okay, plan C at this point. Um, he gets a crit on that icy win, um, but, you know, it really doesn't do very much to my Meryl. Um, he goes for the Calm Mind again. I go for Swagger, and it's like, yeah, I mean, Swagger is an awesome move in Challenge Cup, no question, although it is Haxy. He breaks through, goes for the return, doesn't do anything to me. I go for the Parish Song here, just thinking, well, I don't want him to stay in. He withdraws his Jirachi, sends out Swallot, um, and I go for the Soak, thinking that if Jirachi had stayed in, I could get rid of all of those excellent Im uh, immunities and resistances uh, by changing his type to Water. So here I switch out into my Sigalith. Um, he uses Fire Punch, really isn't going to be that good for me. Um, or doesn't really hurt me very much. I go for a cosmic power, but I've got nothing to hit this Jirachi with unless this hidden power happens to be hidden power of ground or fire. It's neutral, but it's really not going to do very much, and he does have the super effective Icy Wind, which is going to lower my speed. Um, he's going to switch out Jirachi, expecting me to switch, uh, and indeed I do switch. I switch out, uh, he switches out into Zangus, I switch out into Shellos. Um, Zangus goes for secret power, does a lot of damage. I go for Mud Slap. Um, I should actually never, I should remember in the future that I should never use these custom backgrounds when I'm doing Challenge Cup because um, secret power, nature power, um, other powers, whatever, are much more common and those change based on the, um, the surroundings so it could really screw up my game if I'm not careful. Um, I'm actually, I don't remember whether Secret Power is one of those that's uh, environment dependent. I have to look them up. I can't ever keep them all straight anyway. His Fero has the Roost, and that's really obnoxious. I went for the Hail, which is actually a really stupid move. Um, weather never works out as you'd hope in Challenge Cup, at least that's my experience. Um, Swallow's buffered by the hail, but so is my Meryl, and I have no one who, you know, is not going to take any hail damage, except for maybe Sigilith. I guess Sigilith must not take any damage from hail or sandstorm or anything because either of its abilities, either Magic Guard or, um, Overcoat or whatever that, um, no weather ability is. Anyway, Jirachi's back out. I go for the swagger on the switch, and I'm just hoping that the Jirachi starts hitting himself in the confusion. The hail stops. That's nice. I'm going to have to switch out here. He knows I'm going to switch out. He switches out into Firo, also not wanting to hit himself in the confusion. I go out into Shellos, not expecting him to switch out. Uh, going to do a double switch into Sigilith. Sigilith is actually pretty useless. Um, he goes for the facade, uh, goes for the facade again, and that is going to take out my Sigilith, so I was actually really hoping to outspeed. Go out into Kangaskhan on the free switch, know that I outspeed him. He switches out in Jirachi, knowing that he can wall me, um, but I just really want to take out this uh, this guy. Uh, so anyway, switches out, he sends out Gothitelle, um, finds that I have a mind plate. Yeah, that's a worthless ability on Kangaskhan. I switch it out and go for the chip away. Chip away actually does more damage. Um, so I actually need to look up what chip away does. Um, Alex going to come Jirachi yet again. I go for another chip away. Um, it's not very effective, but it's doing, well, it should be doing the same amount of damage as Facade. Uh, he goes for the Icy Wind here, and that's going to lower my speed, and that, I'm going to switch out Kangaskhan because I, you know, it's such an awesome Pokemon to have on my team right now. Uh, it's doing the most work. Out's going to come Shellos, and I'm thinking that I can probably KO. I was actually surprised he didn't switch out into Firo here, because the Mud Slap was completely and totally obvious. But I do take out Jirachi, and that's awesome. Next out is going to be Firo. I'm going to have to switch out. I go out into Meryl. Um, 
just thinking, you know, uh, Meryl's pretty useless here. He goes for the facade, it doesn't kill me. I do go for the swagger, just hoping that he can hit himself in the confusion. Um, but yeah, he withdraws Furo, goes out into Gothitelle. Um, I was think I was just staying in, yeah, so I have full incense, that's great. I uh, go for the swift, doesn't do jack. He goes for the sub as I go for the swagger. So he's got sub on this Gothitelle and Psy Shock. This guy is now poised to sweep my entire team. Uh, I go out into Shellos, not, uh, don't really have too many other options. Go for the Mud Slap, uh, it doesn't even break his sub, you know, not surprising at all. Shellos is now down thanks to a crit, I was I guess I was hoping I could survive. I have a Palkia on this team, but I really didn't want to send it out until Gothitelle's sub was broken. But here I do a stupid move, I go for the Sandstorm thinking that he might just be at such low health that Sandstorm residual damage will KO. But as you can see here, he's going to survive on just a little bit of health. I go, so I would have been much better off going for two Echoed Voices. Yeah, useless crit on Echoed Voice. Um, he goes for another Psy Shock, gets me down to really low health. Um, he is going to die from residual damage at this point, um, but oh well. Out's going to come Zangus. Had I kept on going for Echoed Voice, this uh, Echoed Voice would have hit far harder, or well, 40 hit, um, points harder, and I wouldn't have died, to re like, I wouldn't have done all that residual damage. Uh, now I've got two Pokemon left, this first of which is Ivysaur. Now I was so excited when I saw that I had this Ivysaur because he has the Sleep Powder, but, you know, his, his Swallow has Fire Punch, um, I just don't think that I can really do very much. Now the great thing about Challenge Cup and Sleep, uh, Sleep Claws is that Challenge Cup doesn't have Sleep Claws, so if you have Sleep Powder on your team, or Spore, God forbid, you can really screw up your opponent's team but just keep going for the sleep powders and putting like their entire team to sleep. It's really kind of broken and you know, if someone wants to play me in Challenge Cup and we're like, can we just play with sleep and freeze clauses? I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Oh, you can't play with freeze clause because you can't really control freeze hacks. But anyway, goes for the fire punch here. Ivy so survives on two. I get the boost from Apricot Berry. Yeah, my special, uh, my special defense rises. I've got two HP, that's totally useful. Ugh, I go for the headbutt, just hoping I could take out his swallow, but it's just not looking good. Um, he recovers some health with an Agua Berry, of all things. Um, Ivysaur is going to die to, due to another Fire Punch. I'm down to my last Pokemon, which is Kangaskhan. I go for the Facade, uh, does not do enough. He And he's a jackass, he goes for the Destiny Bond. Um, so yeah, I am going to take out his Swallow, but it is going to cost me my Kangaskhan, and that is the end of the match. Hope you enjoyed it, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.